Hi, welcome to an Arduino step-by-step -step course by RoboJax. This is for absolute beginners. You just need to have a development board and also some components that is needed for that lecture. And you need to have a PC or Mac to start learning Arduino. Let's have a look at some of the available Arduino development boards. Uh, you, it's uh, your choice, whichever you choose, depending on the specification, size, and other characteristics. But the most common one is the Arduino Uno. That This is the, mo the board that I'm going to use. Either this one or we have Arduino Uno, uh, this type with different connector, but these are exactly the same in terms of functionality. We have Arduino Mega 2560, Arduino Duo, these are larger size, Arduino Leonardo, and this is Arduino Nano, and then we have Arduino Micro. This is Arduino Micro, as the name suggests. This is very tiny, very small size, but it has USB connector, so you can program it and upload your code to this one. And here are the pins on this side. This is the Arduino Nano. As the name suggests, this is smaller than the Micro. As you can see, this is Micro and that is Nano. And this one also, and the smaller, we have also USB connector. This is the mini USB connector. And the pen headers are on this side. This is Arduino Leonardo with Micro USB connector and the power adapter. So you can connect it. The pins are labeled very nicely on this header, on this side, and on here, and on this side. This is Arduino Duo with tons of other pins and micro USB connector, and also a power adapter. This is the Arduino Mega. 2560 with a USB connector and power adapter. All the pins have been labeled very nicely and it has dual row of pins on this side and on the other side. This is Arduino Uno Revision 3. This is the authentic original from the Italian manufacturer. If you see a board something like this, this it, it doesn't mean this is fake. Nothing is about fake or original because this is the main manufacturer of this board. The chip is important because only one company is producing it and there are different type of chip with the same uh, functionality and because the software is open source, the design is open source, they've provided all the code, anybody can produce them. Uh, maybe this will be between four to fifteen dollars, and this is around twenty-five dollars or more. Uh, it's your choice, whichever you pick. But they do the same job. For example, this one has micro USB and power adapter. This one has the large size of USB that is used for printer and scanner. And as uh, if we compare it, this one has a lot of labels here, but it doesn't mean that you cannot use it because on this side they all have labels, anyways. But uh, when I touch this, this is very solid, very high quality, and this is uh, not that hard. It's not well built, but for learning purpose and for many applications that you do, this will do the job as well. This one, you, when you buy it, you will get this kind of packaging with authentic uh, label and also some printed sheets information here. But this one, if you buy it from eBay, uh, they will come something like this. Usually they don't ship it with a cable because you can use a regular uh, micro USB cable that is used for phone and tablet. You can charge it. And this one, the same cable that you use for uh, printer, scanner, and many other devices, it will work fine for this as well. And this also sold without a cable. 
but from Arduino official website when you buy it this will also come uh, at the moment with this a nice protective case at the bottom so you can tighten it if you wish to protect the bottom of it Arduino Uno has digital pens from pen 2 to 13 are digital pen that can be programmed as input or output in both cases they can work but on this side also some of the pens can act as a pulse width modulation PWM and they have this tilde sign for example pin 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11 can be used as pulse width modulation not the other pens these two pens are here for the serial connection TX or X. This side we have two other pens SDA and SCL. These are used for uh, communication uh, purpose and on this side we have uh, some pens here from here to here A0 to A5 the six pens are analog N. These are just input and this section is for the power and here we have 3.3 uh, volts this is the output 5 volts and then these are two pens for ground or uh, negative uh, wire and then VN here this is uh, the power adapter input when you connect it you can connect 7 to 12 volts here and this goes through this voltage regulator which adjusts it to 5 volts and the same input if you need it it will be also available here at VN that is the VN and this pen is for reset you can use also this, this switch when you press the switch the program that you have will start running and this portion is for USB communication and this is also other methods of communication which we will talk later for now this would be enough now let's have a look at the uh, official Arduino website and this is a microcontroller that is used 80 mega 328p operating voltage is 5 volts and this is input input voltage of the board and digital in out pulse modulation 6 pence and here are the current limit if you use a DC current per in out will be 20 milliampere and if you use a 3.3 .3 volts pen you can draw up to 50 milliampere flash memory is 32 kilobyte and that reflects 32 that is 32 kilobyte 80 mega 32 and it has a SRAM of 2 kilobyte EEPROM 1 kilobyte the clock speed is 16 megahertz and LED built in is pin 13 which I'm going to show you the rest we have a lot of documentation eagle file that is designed the PCB and schematic and schematic is here and there are tons of information about this device that's available because it's open source anybody can produce this board and use Arduino uh, software for more videos please click on subscribe button or click on the icon on the right side of the screen thank you thank you for watching tutorial from RoboJax if you learned something and found this useful please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube if you have comment or question please post it at the comment section below I try to answer and reply and don't forget to subscribe so you get updates of my upcoming videos